Hello, my celestial Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Mystic Storm here to clear a path to a new life with you. If you're new, welcome to the family. I pray that this message resonates with you and that you're able to gain guidance for July 2020 and beyond. Okay? And if you're already a part of the celestial kingdom, you already know what's up. We back with another one. <laughs> okay? All right. All right, my Gemini. You made it to the last slot for uh, these readings for July 2020. Someone had to make it here. But, you know, I don't want it to be you next time. I don't. So make sure that you share with your fellow Geminis. Share with, you know, anybody. Because, you know, I do readings for all Zodiac signs for, for the month. Okay? So, let's get into your reading, shall we? Oh, but before we do, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell. Follow me on social media, MysticStorm333. My Gmail is the same, MysticStorm333 at gmail.com. Contact me for a reading. I'm here for you, okay? So, Geminis, I went into a brief meditation and the color that I seen was green, green heart chakra energy. So what I got is be truthful in how you feel. Be truthful in how you feel. I feel like you might be um, withholding feelings from people that you uh, hope dear to you. So, we'll just leave it at that. Let's jump into the card reading. Let's see what's going on. All right. We have Whispers of the Ocean. This is a new deck. Shout out to my cousin Zoe. She got this for me and I love it. I adore it. It's so beautiful. I use it for all of the zodiac signs as this is very befitting for cancer season. messages we have spirit for my Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2020 and Messages, guidance for my Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2020 and beyond. It says, surrounded by prosperity. Beautiful. It says, your attention is being drawn to infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. Beautiful. Let me read that again. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. Hmm. So you can grasp anything that you want. It's your prosperity that you're going to get is you can't really fathom it. So this is you. This is you're golden. You're golden and you need to continue to reap the benefits of this energy, of this prosperous energy. And I feel like if you have this prosperous, wealthy energy surrounding you, you need to act accordingly. You need to realize how you feel and speak out. Just straight up, just speak out. Because in order to manifest prosperity, in order to manifest uh, pretty much anything, you have to go through the heart chakra. 
and with within going into the heart chakra knowing that you are worthy that you are prosperous that it's something in order to obtain manifestations we have to release and let some things go so you have to get into a space where you are being truthful being truthful to yourself and others okay so we're getting into the psychic tarot And being truthful could be, uh, I don't want to work with you at this time because I have a different vision, you know, because this prosperity, you might be going towards a different path, but it's surrounding you. It's there. What messages or guidance do you have for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? July 2020 and beyond. Material harvest in reverse. Mm -hmm. That's funny you got that after surrounded by prosperity. But I feel like temptation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's your fears, your doubts that you don't feel like it's obtainable. Whatever this new journey is, you need to find harmony in yourself. You might it might be um, you might be in a partnership right now and you probably share different views. You see the heart chakra here going here. It's slick because usually like when cards flip out this way, I usually turn them clockwise instead of counter. I think I just turned this counterclockwise. So let's turn this clockwise. So harmony is actually in reverse. So the reason why you're not gaining balance is probably within yourself or within a partnership and you're not really seeing the prosperity in your life is because temptation, like fear, doubt, um, addiction is playing a big part of your life. There's something that you need to release because it's hindering your growth. It's hindering. It's like you have all of this, all of this great loving light around you. But look at the turtle. It slick looks unbothered. It looks like it, it looks kind of four of um four of cups. It doesn't look like it want like it doesn't care what's surrounding it. It's kind of hardened. Hardened. So yeah, there's something holding you back. Um, if it's fear and like anxiety, depression addiction it's not good for your overall balance and your harmony within yourself or within partnerships i felt this one memories of love in reverse mm -hmm. Deception and envy in reverse. So memories of love is coming up. I feel like <sighs> some people may have hurt you, but I feel like you're coming out of that, stepping out of that, which is really good because, um, I mean, the past is the past and guess what? You have to let them go have to let them go you might have had a, a lot of heartache in your life but you have to let these people go or it could be it could be friendships it could be partnerships it could be family 
you know, but there's some people in your life that you have to release and let go, and I think you're coming into that, and then within doing that, there's no more sneaky behavior, there's no more putting on a, a mask to um, appease anybody, you can stand in your truth and come in alignment, and as you see that green hair, this green hair, green hair, so yeah, this is beautiful energy, you, but this temptation, this it's the devil card, is something that's holding you back. Something that's really holding you back, and you need to, um, especially since it's in the center. It's in the center of everything. So whatever it is that you need to let go of, it's definitely time, because it can clear up a lot. awareness and reverse so yeah you're not aware of your surroundings you're not aware of the power that you have you're not aware of the possibilities that you have you you don't even know that you're surrounded by prosperity you, you just you look unbothered so it's time for you to gain more awareness in order to reap the benefits that are rightfully yours and standing in your truth and releasing what is from within your heart will help clear up a lot of this okay okay so we're going to get into the final message from the wild offering deck but before we do make sure you like comment subscribe click that notification bell so you can continue to get more content from me follow me on social media mystic storm 333 and if you need a personal reading i'm here for you mystic storm 333 at gmail.com okay spirit what's the final message for my gemini's sun and rising venus for the month of July 2020 and beyond. July 2020 and beyond. Gemini's and Venus. Interesting. It says, let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. Wow. Harmony. May divine order arrange and handle every detail. I will be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown. So travel, this trip that you're taking is your spiritual journey. Your spiritual journey. Every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. So you'll go through different different steps. The aspect could be good, it could be bad, it could be happy, sad, all this stuff. But it will unfold in order for you to come into balance. Let the divine intervene to guide you every step of the way. Okay, so pretty much enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, know that in every aspect of life that things happen for a reason, okay? And again, don't let this, um, whatever is hindering you right here, don't let that hold you back. Regain balance. Okay. All right, my Gemini's, we clear paths to a new life. It's going to be prosperous. I see you very prosperous. We just have to tap into it. We have to release and let some things go. Get back into balance and all will be well. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful July 2020 and beyond. Bye.